My name is Eduardo Rosas and I'm a software developer specialized in the Xamarin tool. And I want to teach you how to use that tool to create both Android and iOS applications using C Sharp and actually sharing C Sharp code between those platforms. And we're actually going to dive right into it, no more blah blah. The first thing that you need to do is go ahead and open a new tab on your browser and navigate to xamarin.com slash download. Go ahead, I'm waiting. Don't even pause the video, I'll wait for you. Go ahead and open a new tab on your browser and navigate to xamarin.com slash download. In there, you'll be prompted to download the specific version that you need for your specific computer. For example, if you are on a Mac computer, you'll be prompted to download Xamarin Studio, or how it's now called Visual Studio for Mac. In there, you will have all of the tools necessary for you to start developing iOS and Android applications using C Sharp. So go ahead and click the download button. We'll cover the rest in the next lectures or in the next videos that will be that I will be uploading to this channel. If you are on Windows, you will be prompted to download Visual Studio Community Edition, which already comes with Xamarin. That is, if you select that you do not have Visual Studio installed. If you have Visual Studio 2015 or higher installed, go ahead and check the I have Visual Studio installed checkbox on the form that you see. In that case, you will only be prompted to download the Xamarin tools, which will be installed on top of your Visual Studio 2015 installation. If you have a previous version of Visual Studio, do not select that checkbox. Just go ahead and select the 2015 version of Visual Studio right from that URL that I mentioned. So without further ado, let's jump in into how you can go ahead and install those installers that you have just downloaded. So once the download is finished, all you have to do is double click your DMG file or your exe file if you're on a Windows machine and something like this will pop up. Of course, it's going to differ a little bit from Windows to uh, Mac, but you just have to double click the installer and it might ask for some permissions. You just click, yeah, okay, go ahead and do whatever you have to do. And this window is going to pop up. Of course, you have to read the license agreement. If you agree to it, check on I agree to the license terms and click continue. It is going to tell you which products you wish to install. We are just going to be using Xamarin iOS and Xamarin Android, so I'm going to uncheck Xamarin Mac. I'm going to click on continue. It's going to tell me where it's going to install. I click on continue. It's going to tell me what things are going to be installed. Click continue and it will start downloading things. I'm going to leave this installing. Of course, you can do so as well. It's going to install the Android SDK, the Xamarin Studio, your IDE, and of course the extensions and products Xamarin Android and Xamarin iOS for you to be able to create those kinds of applications as well. So in the next lecture, we're going to talk about how to get started with Xamarin Studio. Hey, thanks all for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to squish that like button. If you want to learn more about Xamarin or how to develop iOS and Android applications, there are two things that you can do. The first one is to subscribe to this channel. I'm going to be uploading a lot of videos about Xamarin and how to build the apps and how to share code between the apps and the platforms. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any video. The second thing that you can do, and the best thing that you can do actually, is to go ahead and enroll on my Xamarin course that I have available on Udemy.com. You don't have to wait for me to upload some of the videos here on YouTube. Plus, I am going to be having a lot more content in the course than the one that I'm going to be sharing for free here on YouTube. Plus, of course, that it's going to be linked down below and you're going to be getting a very good discount just because you're coming from my YouTube channel. So again, I'm going to wait for you right over there on Udemy.com or I see you in the next video. Thank you very much.